<laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Man, one more lap! <laughs> Today I was just, I think, too tentative on the first lap. So I actually rode the sand on the last lap and I was like, that's way easier, let's just do that. But then the race was over. So. I felt really great and I just kept digging deeper and deeper and was like, well, let's keep, let's keep pushing. Let's keep, you know, hitting every line. I mean, trust in the tires and uh, that I had everything dialed. And it just kept, kept dialing it up. Yeah, I've worked really hard to become a more technical rider over the last few years, and I think it really showed. I just felt so great this weekend. Everything was dialed. Kudos to Dougie Fresh and the blue team for just, you know, bringing all the energy this weekend. The retirement is a rumor. Let's kill it. Um, Claire just hit the gas right from the gun. When I was able to kind of get out, have a decent start, and kind of get through some of the muck. It kept getting slicker in spots, and it was in pre-ride, the ruts were frozen still. So I was trying to feel where I needed to get off to run. And by lap, like three and four, I kind of knew where I was getting off, just so I could be more fluid and flowy. I haven't been good in the mud in the past, so I've, I'm proud of myself for being able to put together a good race in the mud. Um, and, Hold on to second place and I could feel you know third and fourth kind of like lingering back there so I just kept digging when I could and I knew if I stayed smooth that I would maintain my position and then just going as hard as I could in like the sections where I could actually lay power down. I'm exhausted I'm happy it's done but overall I'm just happy you know. I wanted to go out from the gun. I just wanted to be out front as early as possible, have clean lines, not have to deal with anything happening in front of me. So to be like, yeah, first going through the sand was really important. And from there, I just found a gap and kept pushing it as far as possible. Pretty wild through the day. There's even ice underneath it still. It, on the TV, you could see the ruts, but they're actually frozen underneath. So you'd hit it and it kind of shoot you off. And so. The first lap was a lot of, let's figure out how to ride this. Let's see what's still rideable, what's not, and just kind of tiptoe our way around. I gotta say, I really like this course. The way everybody can mass on that hill and cheer for you, like, one side, and then you come up the other, and they're there again, and then you come back half a lap. Like, that's an awesome design. Oh yeah, there was a lot of pressure going into this that I put on myself because I honestly, I feel like I have become very comfortable in that in this Stars and Stripes jersey because I didn't have to race for it last year. I felt definitely pressured to keep it this year and it's a huge relief to have nailed it.